Hello everybody, this is Hero, back with another Dragonfly video. And I just came across the 10.0.7 notes for development for Dragonfly, and something caught my eye that I wanted to chat with you about in this video very briefly. It is a note about the lovely, the beloved, Restoration Shaman. Now, Shaman has quite a few notes here, including changes to our Earth Elemental, changes to some of the talents, spec and class side. Things like Lightning Bolt damage being increased, they're getting rid of a few of those pieces that feel like choice nodes that you must take, i.e. damage nodes. And here we have a little note here. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm highlighting it here. Swirling Currents has been redesigned increasing the healing done by healing stream totem and cloud burst totem by 10 or 20 percent you can see here this is the present version of healing or swirling currents which is increasing our riptides and our surges and also our healing waves by x percent whenever we press healing stream totem or Cloudburst totem. Now, here's one of the things that's interesting. Swirling Currents is quite good because it's giving a lot of burst healing to our Cloudburst totem, but it does impair some of our other buttons, specifically the uses of Totemic Recall and the uses of Call of the Elements and Creation Core. Why do I say that? Well, for most of the specs these two buttons here don't really give you a lot of power because first of all ancestral guidance is so strong second of all if you're doing mythic plus content thunder shock is pretty much mandatory for cc and stone skin totem is pretty solid for tank damage especially and in a lot of encounters and high keys where you have physical damage going out in the burst aoe instead of magic stone skin's actually still pretty good Here's the problem. What do you use Totemic Recall on? What should you use Call of the Elements or Creation Core on? The only option really that makes sense is Earth and Wall Totem for Resto Shaman. But Healing Stream Totem and Cloudburst Totem are really quite good targets for this spell. The problem really is you don't want to waste it with Swirling Currents. So Swirling Currents is fine, if you just avoid using this mechanic altogether. But what if it actually buffed the throughput? Then it would make using a spell like Totemic Recall excellent. And that's what we have here in this change to Swirling Currents. Buffing up your Healing Stream Totem and your Cloud Burst Totem by 10 or 20% suddenly gives you an avenue for thinking about how to use Totemic Recall effectively. And my thought is, this is a really early take because this news just landed, that this will be a really strong way to leverage Living Stream. Meaning, if you have really good haste, you get a lot of ticks out of Healing Stream Totem, you put that together with Totemic Surge, you put that together with Totemic Focus, all of these pieces now are giving you amazing and very strong Healing Stream Totem casts, which you can then pile on top of each other without feeling like you are overriding some kind of a buff in the form of swirling currents. And I think that is going to be the next phase of Resto Shaman Mythic Plus dungeon content. On the raid side, this is even better because Cloudburst Totem is exceptionally good in 20 plus groups because it heals like a crap load. So being able to buff that specifically and not just buff your healing waves or riptides makes it an even better cooldown for mythic plus there are other changes coming in the ptr that i'm not going to touch on now but for now i just wanted to highlight that one specific change if this goes live this makes healing stream totem and living stream exceptionally good for mythic plus resto shaman thanks very much for tuning in guys we will catch you again next time have a good one